Vivek's energy, it, it flows through Sonora. That's how Barbas is able to circumvent the city's defenses. Yes, thanks to Sotha Seal's magic. My former master is ex always a chance. It just depends upon the way the gears align. <laughs> oh, my favorite dupe has finally arrived! <laughs> You can talk to the dame. Oh dear, oh if you dear. Lock tight. Lucky for me, jump. I've got Sunara. Ha ha ha. You may not believe this, but I really am happy to see you. I grew rather fond of you while I inhabited that dreadful dark elf form. Now you get to see me in all my glory. I'm going to bring my master's grandest plan ever to fruition. You'll be so proud of me. Just stay out of my way and enjoy the show. I promise it will be highly entertaining. Oh, yes, indeed. The grandest! My master and his partner seek to... Oh, no, no, no. Bad, Barbus. I almost gave away the surprise. Oh, you're a tricky one, you are. But my master will be so pleased that I stepped in. My master has been trying to find this place for the longest time. He actually set the ball rolling. Worried about the arch cannon? The poor old man. He died in his sleep, all peaceful like. I saw an opportunity and leapt right in. Stupid Vivek. He never even noticed. I will. Nice chat, but I'm. Stipulating the energy reservoir. Hurry! I turned this contrivance into a portal machine! Like my new armor? I wanted to wear something special when I kill you! Clavicus file is almost here. Seize Sonora, then retrieve Lord Vivek's energy from the reservoir conduit. Such a good and thankful Makes it difficult to lock onto a destination. Done enough I'll for go now. ahead to stabilize the connection.
so? You're the mortal who gave my poor dog so much trouble. I suppose we should have a chat, you and I. How dare you discipline my dog? He was only trying to appease his master, and I'd never harm a hair on whatever insignificant creature you hold dear. You, on the other hand, require a lesson in... Indeed, what ambition! As you can see, Barbus isn't a bad dog. He does get easily excited and overzealous. He embellished my plans somewhat, but it all worked out in the end. And we found the clock. This little flea thinks it's smart, but my plans are beyond its comprehension. Still, by delaying the inevitable, you caused my associates and I some trouble. You'll stay here until you're no longer a threat. How does it... Let's go. Quiet, dog. Haven't you... Wait. Who dares intrude upon my lesson? Found you. Over here. Oh. Clavicus file. This isn't good. I lost you somewhere between the Clockwork City and Vivek. But it was simple enough to trace your energy signal. Oh, that would be unfortunate for you. Luckily, you have me to assist you. Well, me and Sonora. Expend? Be gone, meddling wizard! Little flea. That actually worked. <laughs> well, glad to see you're still alive, assistant. Hurry, Outlander. The Vec is nearly spent. My time draws to a close. So you retrieved my stolen. To quote my. 75th exhortation. Certainty is the brother of fear. Oh, you soon And restore my energy. Praise Vivek, his energy is restored. Remarkable. No Ordinator or Armager could have done any better. You uncovered a daedric... As my next sermon shall proclaim. Modesty is the false cloak of a flatterer. You have done much for me and for Vardenfell. But as the warrior... Gratitude is its own. To start, retrieve the Archcanon's signet from the Hall of... Rejoice! You cursed the darkness with good reason. Now praise the return of the light. The eyes and ears of the warrior poet returns. And just in time for the gathering crowd. Continue to guard it. For it represents not only my loyal servant Tarvis, but also the past and future of my priesthood. And take this as well. To aid you. you have been my eyes and ears in the world. Now be my hands. Within the modest sack resides gifts for my faithful servants. Blessings from me, though I would have you deliver them. You served me in adversity. As I call forth my faithful, reach into the sack and give them the first thing you find. They shall hear my words of praise. Overseer Shirelas, step forth. Overseer Shiralas, you sacrificed your blessing stones to aid the warrior poet. Well done. Take these recharged stones and finish building my city, after relaxing with your patient wife. Thank you, Lord Vivek. I shall do as you ask. Battles up. Approach.
Your knowledge of the mysteries of my brother Sotha Seal and the intricate twists and turns of portal magic were invaluable. Take this and use it well to further your experiments. Gemstones filled with a tiny fraction of divine energy. Amazing and so very generous. With careful tuning, this could improve portal magic a hundredfold. Thank you. Canon Levul, kneel before me. Was that? Did Lord Vivek summon me? Arch Canon Tarvis served us well until his death. But when I was most in need of assistance, Canon Levul rose to the occasion. Now rise once more as Arch Canon Levul. My lord, I'm not worthy. But I shall endeavor to become so. Thank you. And I can't wait to inform my ancestors. In every poem, it's the last stanza that holds the most meaning. Once a stranger to our land, now a friend forever. Step forward. You come before me with an empty sack, but have no fear. As I have written, treat your enemies well and your friends even better. Know that I consider you to be a very good... Then let it be known that from this moment forth, you shall be called the Champion of Vivek. And along with my thanks, take this modest reward. I foresee even greater achievements in your future. But for now, be content to be the hero of Morrowind. Now go forth and rejoice. <laughs>